I, I do have a different sort of question here is that if you died mm. and came back as and came back as a board game mm-hmm. what board game would you come back as there is a Billy's Monopoly game <laughs> <laughs> right <laughs> is it that's right yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, <laughs> and I, I could be in the rich house or the poor house or in jail, whichever. I don't know. Oh, that's a, it's a golden art. <laughs> one, of the, one of the radio stations put it on, and they actually sold them. Yeah. And they made them and sold them. It's a Billy's uh, Monopoly game. I was part of a Monopoly game. Oh my goodness. Okay, so that I mean I, I could talk for hours. I'm getting messages to hurry up. We've yeah. taken a lot of your time. That's yeah, fine. I'm easy. Yes. Um. You know, thanks for having a chat to us today. It uh, really is inspiring and I get so much enjoyment speaking with people that I know have worked with my dad and that I can actually learn things from. And you've said so many things that are going to be One of the questions I want to ask you is, how do you get along with dad in business? Okay, this is an uh, easy one. Uh, so so the, the easiest step for us uh, is that dad's not my boss. Yes, so from, yes. I think from the age of about 16, uh, I answer to my general manager and anyone that knows him knows that he's pretty tough yeah. and if I can get something through Bob then it's an easy one with dad so you know, I didn't see dad as a kid no, dad was always working I'd be I'd yeah. wake up he'd be at work I'd you know yeah. and I'm sure you know the situation I, I know I was 90 hours a yep. week yes yeah and that was the normal so it's been really refreshing probably the last 15 years where we've actually got to spend really good time together to learn and to see what he's all about. I mean, he's always there as a father, but... Yeah, but it's also instigated something that he started, instigated into the younger generation to... It's hard to co- follow and copy, because how do you improve what your old man has done? Yeah. So my children got a similar situation, I try to explain to my grandchildren that I used to work 90 hours a week and your grandmother used to work 75 hours a week and stuff like that. And they said, nobody can work 90 hours a week. And I said, you do if you have to. Yeah. It's quite amazing. It's only 15 hours a day, six days a week. What's the problem? Uh, you know? I, I, and I totally understand it because that was the normal. So, success, when you start with little like your father and I, you started and a few other people in Australia, quite a few actually, uh, we had a hard run. Uh, success came very quickly, half a lifetime to a, a lifetime, you know. So 50 years is a lifetime virtually, you know, and so on. And I look upon the fact that something must stick. Where from what your father's beginnings, your your next in, in generation, and then possibly in the next generation, you know, and so on. And uh, I've been offered to sell my business uh, a few times. People want to buy my business. And I keep telling them I haven't got enough money. And a South African team came one day and had enough. And I had to laugh. I said, shit, you got enough? <laughs> <laughs> and I said, uh-oh, there's a bit of a problem here. Um, we voted three to one that we still keep the business. Because I was setting something up for the next generation. I'm sure your father and everybody else's person who started a business young and had family wants them to, if they wish to continue the business, that you have set the footings, uh, the infrastructure, everything there, that is a bit easier possibly, but nothing's easy. Uh, it's called evolution. Yeah, and that, I, I feel we talk about the evolution in Drake's of the building, the new distribution yeah. centre. You know, we've got our supermarkets, we will be supplying others. We will have our own franchise model for other people that want to join us. Yeah. and. That's the evolution of what we're doing. And, and that couldn't have happened if it wasn't for Dad yeah. putting in those hard yards. And, yeah. uh, and you, you have to sacrifice things to get things. And a lot of people don't want to do that. And they then wonder why you're in a situation where you are or where Dad is. You know, it really came down to hard work. One of the worst things that I feel is that fact that when I see a business going down a bankruptcy cause, you know, Unless it's uh, by design, yeah. there's a few of those, <laughs> right? <laughs> okay, uh, and so on. Uh, but you know, to me and my wife, we look at it and we see a business going down the gurgler, 
I'm going to say, gee, the effort they have put in, the time they've put in, the stress they've put in, and then it hasn't worked. I, f I feel for those people because there's been times in my business when I thought, well, am I doing the right thing or not? Mm. Am I putting in an effort possibly for not the right return for the effort put in? But you know, then you shake that off and, you be, and that's it. And you switch back on. Zzz, that's about a 10 seconds for yeah. <laughs> right? it. Then, <laughs> yeah, and then you switch back on and say, bugger it. Uh. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. And, anyway. and I think you've had that attitude your whole life from what I can tell. We've been dealing with you for a very long time until you started letting us. Uh -huh. um, and it's been an amazing journey since. It's really about supporting local people. Yeah. It's about the relationships that we have with people. And to us, those relationships are far more important than anything else that can happen. Of We're not after the people trying to make a quick buck. We want the people that are going to be around here so hopefully my kids if they ever want to do this can still be talking with the grandkids and your kids and that and nice. that, that's just in two examples of our two businesses we want to do that everywhere the warehouse the evolution as we're calling it it's about making our business generational and it's no different than what you're doing and we continue to we are going to continue to do that and we're going to continue to grow and grow and i do well, really thank you, Billy, for no, having it's us. A pleasure. And hopefully we get to chat someday soon. Hopefully oh, your health's fine. Oh, okay. no, I ain't going anywhere yet. Oh, that's I, I hear that every day from my dad, so I hope you're not going anywhere. Yeah. We, it, it wouldn't be a better place. Uh, I tell you, it wouldn't be a better place without, without them. So you know, I really, really do hope we get to see again and we grow together as we have been. But the good thing is that leave it in good hands. Better than I had them. That's it. Sweet. Well, thank you. Thank you. A pleasure talking to you. Thank you. Thank you. Ciao. Ciao.